Hi friends! Today we are starting the video in my hotel room in Turkey. So I just got to Uhuisa yesterday evening from Barcelona and I had a quite interesting arriving story. So in Cappadocia, if you want to see Cappadocia, the hot air balloons and everything, there are basically two places where you can stay and that's Göreme and Uhuisa. Me and my friends decided to stay in Göreme because one of my friends, she has already been here and she recommended that town. So I arrived yesterday evening at the airport in Nefse here and I booked an airport shuttle to the hotel and then I was standing there and nobody came so they said they're gonna have like a little sign with my name but then I was like waiting waiting and all the shuttle buses disappeared and I was like okay I gotta find a way to get to my hotel. The thing is I booked this hotel only for one night on Airbnb because the one that I actually wanted that I'm gonna stay at with my friends for the next couple of days was not available for this night. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna book this one for one night and then go to the actual one where I wanna be. Anyways, <laughs> I checked the address on Airbnb and it only said Gureme. So there was like no street, no hotel name, nothing. I was like, okay, this way I'm not gonna find it. Then I asked the taxi driver to call the hotel and they talked and he was like, okay, we've got your address, uh, gonna drive you there and we drove here and then the taxi driver said we arrived and i was like but well, this is not goreme <laughs> this is Uhuisa. i don't think this is the right spot but then he was like no 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 i talked to the guy this is right and i was like okay let's talk to the reception and the guy at the reception was like yes this is right <laughs> i was like what is going on? <laughs> I don't understand this. So I was very confused when I got here because I knew for sure this is not the hotel but everybody was telling me this is it. And then I messaged a guy with who I booked an Airbnb experience in the next couple of days and I asked him like hey do you know this hotel that I booked on Airbnb and he sent me the actual hotel which is in Goreme. So I asked them to call them again, they did. And they said that someone in the hotel that I booked had a positive corona test. So it's closed and that's why I'm here. And they said they upgraded my room, which is true. I've got a jacuzzi in here. So I don't know if that story is true. So anyways, I'm always trying to make the most out of the situation and I'm trying to see what's right about the situation, coaching advice. Um, so I didn't plan to visit Uhuisa, so for me that's an opportunity to see another place I didn't plan visiting. So I'm going to show you this hotel now because it's actually pretty nice. And then I'm going to visit the Uhuisa castle on the hill and then we're gonna make our way to Goreme. Okay, so this is my room. I think it's pretty nice. I've never been in a hotel room with this type of style because I've never been in Turkey and I really like it. So I think it's super sweet is you have this like little um, place here where you can make coffee, tea and I've got a bottle of water for you. Actually just make coffee for me, gonna drink that before I leave. Um, apart from that, it's really cozy. I've got a lot of like different lights for the room, which I think is nice because then you can adjust to, you know, <laughs> lots of light or a little bit of light in the evening. This is the bathroom which I think is a dream. <laughs> so here you've got the sink and a mirror. And then here you've got the jacuzzi. So it's a big bathroom. And from staying in Barcelona in a tiny bathroom, this is a pretty sweet upgrade. <laughs> so this is the hotel. And there's my room. <laughs> Gonna show you the roof shot now. So, and I think this is super cool. I've never seen this before. It's like what you always see in the photos of the rooftops in Cappadocia. But this is made for winter because it's actually not that warm right now it's like 16 degrees so I think that's pretty cool it's so nice it's like really warm inside it's very cozy and I think in the evening when you light up the lights on the top I think this could be super sweet it's actually quite sad <laughs> I'm not going to be able to see this in the evening 
but I hope the next hotel is also gonna be nice. So what I really like about this hotel is that there are like so many stairs and so many different rooms. It's not just like you have one for all these hotel rooms like usually. I think this is really cool. I really like the style. By the way, that's a castle. I'm gonna go now and explore. to sit inside. I think it's very cute. I actually had breakfast outside this morning and the breakfast was amazing. Like there was so much food. I'm gonna send you a photo because this is pretty sweet. So this is the view from the other side. You can see we've just been there and there's my room and that's the whole hotel. So somebody from the hotel staff just showed me this rooftop which I guess is part of the hotel that I didn't see. It's like you cross the street and then <laughs> there's another part of the hotel and the view is just absolutely stunning. So there are some souvenir shops here. And look what I found! Oh my wish is gonna come true! <laughs> souvenir shops or many souvenir shops and one of them actually had rooms that were like 3,000 years old like that's crazy and that's so much work like he showed me one of the little plates where he took four months to complete it like that's so much work in this art already. I would have liked to buy a lot of stuff there but as a traveler I just can't um, I'm a little clueless about what to wear here this morning I started with my cozy jumper and <laughs> that was too warm and I put on my long sleeve and I went back home <laughs> and now I'm wearing my skirt and I'm cold <laughs> I think what you need to do in 
the castle and there's so much to explore it's like a photography playground it's really really cool and the entrance was only two euros so it's really cheap if you get the chance to visit it i would highly recommend you to do this i'm gonna explore now <laughs> Okay, so I just went home again to change because it was too cold. I think I changed four times today. I'm gonna wear layers in the next couple of days. Because like when the sun's here, it's quite warm. But then when it's like windy and there's lots of clouds, then it's cold. But I have to say I'm really impressed by this little town. I think it's very cute. And the castle is amazing. Like it's so pretty and unique. And there's so many good spots to take photos. It's really, really cool. Okay, I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna look for a nice restaurant now try to find some vegan food i just saw the cutest little ponies oh my gosh this town is so nice um after this i think i'm gonna take a bath in my hot tub and then make my way to go in so i ordered this lemon with potato and a salad it looks like a lot of food so let's see how much i can eat of that i'm gonna enjoy the view from here the video ends where it started in my hotel room so after my day here in ohisa i can say that it's a pretty cool town to visit and i'm actually really happy that destiny brought me here or whatever because i didn't plan to visit it but i still have a couple of days in Guilherme so that's plenty of time to see the other town and the surroundings so i can say that the town is pretty cool because they've got this beautiful castle and the castle is so nice because they've got this like many little caves and like so many photography spots like i could spend all day taking photos there but it was a little cold in between so i've been wandering around and the food that i had was so delicious the views that you get from here are amazing and people are so friendly. Like Turkey has made a very good impression on me on my first day here and I'm really excited to see more. So I'm going to change hotels this evening but before I'm gonna do so, I'm gonna hop into my whirlpool and then I'll record the next video for you tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed to see Ukhisa with me. If you do, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And don't forget to check out my next videos about Goeme and the surroundings of Cappadocia.